Hi, this is Bruno from RVing TV, and today we're at Bella Vista RV for a, a road test. Now, this is our first road test of a 2016 Monaco Diplomat 43DF. So, we are a tag axle coach, 43 feet bath and a half floor plan. What makes this test drive very unique is this is one of the first Freightliner chassis with the Ultra Steer. Now, I've said Freightliner, and I'll explain as we take our test drive that we're truly not on a Freightliner chassis. Luckily enough, we are in a Monaco product with a Roadmaster chassis. But let's get a start on the test drive here. Now, the test drive, the idea behind it was to give you an idea of the new Ultra, uh, the Ultra Steer system that is incorporated, which is a steerable tag axle as well as to give you the experience of the new Diplomat and how, how much of a smooth and quiet ride it delivers. So during this segment we'll comment on various features on the coach as well as drivability and in a later segment we'll actually do a walkthrough of the coach and take a look at some of its amenities and living features itself. Now, Ultra Steer is a steerable tag. The claim to fame for Ultra Steer is that it improves turning radius by 17 degrees. So there's no more scrubbing tires and beating up your tag axle when you're making sharp turns. The actual tag follows along the same path that your front wheels do. So it greatly decreases your turning radius. Now what's nice about today is we're actually on a fairly busy day for the highway. We're going to take a route up Highway 11, which is really going to let us experience highway driving as well as some slower driving. And I'm taking my time around this turn because we've taken a very, very sharp turn in comparison to a regular tag axle. And what we will do in the video segment is we're actually using a remote camera so that you'll actually be able to see the tag in full motion as we're making our turns. Now, Monaco utilizes what they call a Roadmaster chassis. Roadmaster today on the 2015-2016 products is actually a special composition. We have Freightliner components so that you get Freightliner warranty and access to over 300 different dealer networks across the U.S. and Canada, including Freightliner's Oasis service centers. Now the Oasis service centers are geared directly to the RV travel. They actually have secure parking lots. Um, I understand that many of them have plug-ins for the various for coaches that are in for service and they're geared strictly for RVs rather than a lot of uh, Freightliner centers being geared for on-road trucks. So having that service backup is absolutely phenomenal. Now what we do with the Roadmaster chassis is Monaco actually decouples the seat, the C-channel frame between the axles and completely returns them back to Freightliner. In its place, they take 9-inch I-beams that are completely reinforced with a superstructure that creates all your baggage compartments and all the support for your coach. It's a technology that was actually developed many years ago in combination with American Coach and Prevo Bus. So you actually get a nice strong superstructure and a coach that is supposed to be the closest in driving characteristics to driving a Prevo. And you'll notice that today we're driving, the camera should be showing me with one hand on the wheel. So folks, I don't suggest that. You should always have two hands on the wheel. But we're driving down the highway on a relatively breezy day with a crosswind coming across us. And we have 
lots of stability. There's not a ton of oversteer or corrections having to be made. And we have a nice firm ride. Uh, in my opinion, the older Roadmaster chassis were absolutely phenomenal driving coaches because a tag axle would give you 10 airbags. For today's chassis, we have six airbags. And this new Roadmaster chassis actually outperforms the previous series of Roadmaster chassis by a large degree. Much, much quieter and much smoother ride. You really feel the solidness of the coach when you're going down the road. And that's great because you don't want to have to drive four or five hours in a trip. You want to be able to hit the road. And if you've got bad weather climbing up behind you, be able to drive eight or ten hours to get away from it. Once we make our turn, we'll actually, I'll go quiet for a bit so that you'll actually be able to hear. There's no cabinets rattling, creaking in this coach. Today you're going to probably pick up a little bit of uh, wind noise because we do have crosswind. But overall, a very, very, very quiet coach. Now, as we are exiting on our off-ramp here, you should be seeing, and I'll set up the camera to actually show the two views of the ultra steer actually coming into play. And you'll see that rear axle steering itself and tracking along nicely. Now, I will be honest, I'm getting used to it myself. I'm used to taking a little bit larger turns and I'm actually quite impressed at how sharp we're turning and how little steering input I'm actually putting into it compared to a more traditional tag axle. So we're going to finish this off ramp, get back on, do the on ramp to really give you some good visuals of that steering tag in action. Now this Diplomat is powered by a 450 horse Cummins engine. It is an ISL engine, so you do have a two-stage engine brake, and it's the 8.9 liter variant of the ISL, so the larger engine. We are a rear rad, but with the new rad technology, very cool running. And this Diplomat also not only boasts the Roadmaster chassis, but a front independent suspension. So no solid axles for us. We have an IFS coach here, which is gonna smoothen out your ride. And should you get into a very quick off ramp and take it at a little bit higher speed, uh, give you a little more stability as well. And it'll soften up some of those bumpier roads. So hopefully you've taken a look at how that steerable tag has been acting for us through those multiple turns that we've gone. I can tell you from drivability, nice and smooth, and actually put us nicely and sharply into the turns. Now I'm gonna go quiet for a short spell just so that you can pick up um, you know, any noise. Typically in most coaches you'd be hearing ranges, You'd be hearing cabinets rattling, so I'm going to go quiet and just let you take in some of that, and we're going to be cruising down the highway at 100 kilometers an hour.
you want to be able to play the radio, talk to uh, your co-pilot, and, and really enjoy the drive. So I'm very impressed overall at the quietness of this coach and the stability of the framework and the ride. Now some great features um, on this coach is we do have the larger 295 tires with aluminum rims. We have our ultra steer as we've talked, keyless entry with keyless locking and unlocking baggage doors, satellite, heated, uh, heated floors, just a phenomenal list of standard features and that's really nice when you're looking at a coach that you don't have to go and put 20 or 30 options on it to really make it a luxury coach. Uh, in actual fact, there's approximately six, eight options depending on how you decide to set up your slide out trays. And really it's just a couple of bed configurations and mattress options that make up a large number of the features. Now there is a great feature that for some of our older customers or our safety conscious that you're definitely going to want to take a look at that uh, Monaco has just released. So this coach doesn't have it, but it can be ordered on future coaches uh, depending on your rear bedroom, a uh, bathroom layout emergency hatch. You can option in an emergency hatch that's actually a door that opens up, has steps built into it, so in case of a fire, it pops open and you can actually step down from the rear of the coach to safety. And it's just absolutely a great idea. The only coach prior to this point in time that offered a safety hatch was actually the American Eagle. Here it is on a diplomat being offered up to the public. So just absolutely phenomenal safety feature at a great price. Now shortly we're going to take another off ramp. Again to give you some video of that active tag. And then I would encourage you to check back later on our second video clip of the diplomat that will actually be a walkthrough outlining the features of the coach and its livability. So for those of you watching, here we go, and I'll set up the video on purpose so you'll be able to see the tag. tag so at this point there's going to be a number of you out there saying okay Bruno that's great that it's a steerable tag what happens when I go in reverse what happens when I have to reverse or I have some load is that tag gonna still be steering well the guys at Freightliner have covered that when you're in reverse the tag will actually lock itself to a traditional lock position so that you're not having to counter steer on the tag and it will do that automatically and for re reverse maneuvers you still have a tag dump feature which will decompress your rear tag and give you the ability to maneuver and make sharp turns in reverse. So Freightliner's covered off those options and it will be done automatically by the tag system so you're not having to reach for buttons or worry that you're going to forget uh, to flip a button or activate a lock. is just 
just about over. We're, we're going to be pulling over shortly and uh, parking the unit. And then we'll do our second video segment. If uh, you have questions, feel free to email Bella Vista at info at bellavistarv.com or give them a call. Their knowledgeable sales staff will be able to answer your questions. They are a full-line Monaco and Holiday Rambler dealer, and this is the first of the diplomats to actually arrive. And they will be able to make sure that you're well looked after for any of your diesel or gas coach needs. And in the future, we'll also be back to do more test drives on a number of gas coaches as well as the new diesels coming in from both Holiday Rambler and Monaco. But I will give you uh, some heads up that we have been given the opportunity to take a look at a brand new American Coach Allegiance, which is actually the only Allegiance available in Canada and one of 11 available in the entire North American continent. So this is Bruno from RV and TV saying thank you. If you like the video, feel free to click the like button. And for more future videos, if you'd like to be notified, click the subscribe button on either Bella Vista's site or our site at RV and TV. So this is Bruno wishing you safe travels and happy camping.